Hello everyone and welcome, it's Shanna. I'm so glad you're here. Now today we're playing along with Craft Roulette and it's episode 205. And one of the elements we need is we need to have a crown on our card. And I really didn't think I had a single thing in my craft room with a crown on it. And I actually found two things. I found a sticker and then I found this little dog ephemera that has a crown on it and I thought this would be perfect. Now the other elements of the card is you must include an envelope, um, your colors are party, and you have a crown and then three strips of paper. Now I'm just looking at this other Violet Studio items that I have here. That's where the doll come from. It's a Violet Studio package of ephemera and then I have these two patterned papers but I'm remembering that I've got a piece of paper that has envelopes on it from Cat Scrappiness. So I just grabbed it and I'm going to use that to meet my include an envelope um, on my perimeter. So I'm happy that I have that and I'm ready to just move along because those were the, the two things that I was most concerned about. And so I'm just going to bring in this um, stitched rectangle die and die cut out a panel and it's just under an A2 size, so I'll have a little bit of white peeking out um, from my card base, but we'll, we're just going to get this laid down. Now this piece of pattern paper here is also from Cat Scrappiness. It was part of their um, new Valentine release, and I really was drawn to this envelope paper um, when the release came out and I was doing the videos and stuff, and I so it stuck out in my mind that this is something that would fit this parameter very well. So I was happy for that. And I'm just going to get it laid down on here. And um, I'm just working on the fly here. I didn't have a sketch, didn't have a plan. I just was throwing all these things together. Now I'm looking at this sticker pack and trying to decide, you know, what elements I'd want to pull from it. And so each page is the same, I um, realize. And I'm just going to grab me another piece. I think I need to layer up something else. So I'm just going to grab another piece of paper and I'll die cut it out with the with uh, two um, dies smaller than the one that I used there and I just used my hammer mill paper. And I'm now I'm trying to decide what strips. And I have a little jar there that has all of these different strips in there. And I found these hot pink ones and I thought they'd look good with it because the little envelope paper um, has a little heart on each envelope and it is a darker pink. Um, I don't think you can really see it on camera, but I thought this would work out well. So I'm thinking I'm going to lay the strips across the top is what I'm thinking. Um, and I'm just going to figure out, um, and I'm laying it from the stitch to the one side of the stitch to the other side of the stitch. So I wanted to measure it and I'm just bringing in my Cricut trimmer to trim it. And this is not the right thing to trim a real small strip with. Um, the Cricut trimmer just isn't designed for that. And I start to do the second one and I kind of botch it up and I just decide to um, just stack them and grab my scissors and just um, I cleaned up kind of the edge of that and I'm just going to stack them and just cut them off of the first one. The first one cut okay, so I thought I could get a good measure from it. And I'm just stacking them together and cutting them. I would prefer my guillotine for this type of cut. So I'll just put that away and we'll get our strips laid down on this white card panel. So I'm just going to bring in my tweezers, I think, um, because I feel like I can get a better hold on this, this paper and then just lay some glue down without making a mess. So I'm just, looks like I'm just trimming it up again and I'm just going to bring my glue press in and I filled that thing up with glue. It's been running low and I've been fighting it and I've got it full now and it's really um, putting some glue out. So I'm grabbing a white piece of paper so I can dab it off because um, that first squirt that you have come out of there is a pretty good blob and I don't need that on this fine of a strip. So just lining them up and I'm just going to line all three of them up in a row. Keep them kind of close together and it'll just add a little another little element to our card. This is a really simple card, a really quick card. Um, I, 
I think I, from start to finish, was only about 20 minutes. Um, so I did cut the video down a little bit, but um, it was a really quick card. So we'll just get this last strip glued down and we'll just move on. So tonight watching the show, I actually was at the neighbor's house playing cards. And um, they know that if I play cards on Friday night, I'm going to be having the Craft Roulette show on my phone. Um, actually, we, we played games. We played Aggravation and we played um, um, a golf game. A golf card game that we play it's called nines um, and so I have the show running and of and my sister and my parents are there because that's their house they live next door and um, so I'm showing them different things I'm showing them as Mary and her guests are building their cards I'm always showing them what they're doing and and we talk about the parameters and everything so um, that's what I did tonight so I didn't just um, it didn't have my full attention, I guess I should say. Um, anyways, I'm messing around with the sentiment thinking, I, I don't want to just lay this sticker on there. So I start die cutting some circles out with my stitched circle die. And I do a white one, and then I think, eh, maybe I want pink. And I'm just going to bring in that lighter pink. And so we're going to have multiple shades of pink on here. And um, that is definitely party colors in my, in my mind. Um, I had girls, I had two daughters, and so our parties were mostly pink and fr frilly, and so these are definitely party colors in my mind. And I've got my little sticker here that says party anyway. And it's in kind of a, I don't know, mint green, and it's got confetti on there with pink and, and green and blue and different colors on there. So very much a um, party color scheme, so that certainly meets the parameter there and I'm just going to pop that up and give it a, my card a little bit of dimension by just popping that circle up and I'm kind of getting to the end of that roll of foam tape so I'm just going to try and scrap what I can and get it laid down on there and I think it'll be enough so I guess I'm going to bring in a little bit more I'm cutting some smaller pieces and I'm going to lay down on there just so we don't have that empty spot there. And then I'll get it laid down on my card base. This card actually matches my fingernails today. So this piece of ephemera here, this little dog with a crown, is um, it's fairly thin. So I'm going to really put the foam tape on the back of this. I mean, I'm just going to try and cover um, as much of it as possible because it is a really thin um, piece of ephemera. There were multiples, multiple ones in there and I could have layered them up, um, but I didn't choose to do that. I just put them back in the package and I'll just use them again another time. So you can see I'm just piecing in all of these little areas and making sure I get plenty of foam tape down on there. I've got to cut that one down so it'll fit a little bit better on the towel. And just use my bone folder to press it down so that I can easily pull off the backer tape without pulling the foam off. It just seems to help me when I do that. And then I think this is going to be cute. I just like the pink and the white. I think it's super cute. And that little dog with a pink crown is adorable. So I'm thinking um, I might add some some type of embellishment on there and then I got to looking at the sticker pack and there were a bunch of little gold stars that kind of match the party time sticker that I put on there and so I'm just going to peel off some of these gold stars and lay them down on the white panel next to my dog and we'll just cluster three together And then I did notice that there is a, um, a little pink heart, and each of those envelopes have that little heart on them, so I thought it'd be cute to bring in that little heart. So I'm just going to put that on the other side of my, my dog. And then I'm looking at the sentiments and thinking I want to use this happy birthday sentiment. And I went ahead and die cut out a pink 
banner for this and I thought I could center this on there and then it is wider than the banner and I thought well I'll just center it on there and then I'll cut it off cut the top and the bottom of the happy birthday off so that it will fit on this banner and it takes me a minute to get it how I want it I mean I'm going to fidget and fiddle with it and I'll finally put some glue on there just so I can move it and get it lined up And this is where I've decided I'm just going to use glue. Um, and I'm doing all this for naught because I'm going to wind up cutting the pink off of it. But the pink did give it some stability, so I was glad that I had it on the back of it anyway. So I'm just trimming off what's hanging over. And I've got just everything attached to my glue, or to my sticker, my scissors. Um, all that foam tape and just anything that was laying on my desk <laughs> the foam tape tape picked up and it was hanging off my scissors there so I've got it all trimmed up and I'm thinking I'm going to leave that banner on there and I'm kind of messing around with it trying to figure out where I'm going to put it do I really like it and then I decide I'm just going to cut those edges off and just go with the lime green or whatever you want to call that um, but that pink did like I said stabilize it gave it some um, firmness because it was just a real thin sticker so I'm going to bring in my favorite pop-up uh, foam tape and this is the eighth of an inch from scrapbook.com I had just finished off the last batch so I'm just pulling this new page out I'm going to just measure it up cut it off and pop it up And I'm just using, I was using my tweezers just to kind of help hold it. And we'll get this laid down on a card base. So I think this came together pretty, pretty easily, pretty quickly. And I like how it turned out. I think this will be nice to have in my stash for a birthday card for a little girl. I think that'll be fun. And then after one quick look at the sticker pack, I decide that I'm finished. I've met all my elements and I think my card looks cute. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye now.